Wait, what? How can they be here already? It's not even 7.30 yet. I wonder why they got here so soon. Hey, what's going on? You're definitely here early. I thought we agreed on 8 o'clock. I guess you couldn't even stand a couple hours without being able to see me again. <laughs> Jeez, I didn't know you were the type to lie too. Don't even say that, I know you did. I bet when you found out I was leaving town you were 100% disappointed. I can just picture it. But now that I'm back, you just want to make up for lost time. Is that not true? I mean, it makes perfect sense to me, but if you insist... You know what they say, actions speak louder than words. But anyway, come inside. It's so cold out there, I bet you're freezing. You know, you really should have asked me for a ride. I was totally ready to grab my keys and come pick you up. It would have been no trouble. Still, it's freezing out there. You're lucky it wasn't supposed to snow tonight. Then you wouldn't even have had a choice. I could care less if it was a short walk. You're still putting yourself out in the cold. Well, just so you know, I'm gonna be taking you back, alright? Nope, don't even dare to tell me otherwise. I've already made up my mind. Okay, good. I thought I'd have to fight you on that, but I'm glad we got that settled. Quick and easy. So, um, what were you thinking you wanted to do first? I mean, it doesn't matter to me. You're the guest here. Whatever you want. I'm good with it. <laughs> I don't know. I never really thought about it. I was so stressed preparing for you to get here that I totally forgot to plan on what to do when you get here. <laughs> Funny how it works like that. Here, how about I go get ourselves some coffee and you can make yourself comfortable. Look around the place, watch some TV, anything to your heart's desire. Maybe if you're lucky, you'll even catch my cat lurking the halls. But don't get too confident, he's not really a fan of visitors. I guess we'll have to see. Okay, I'll be back in a sec. Oh, I see you're making yourself at home. No, nothing. I just thought you'd be wandering around like a lost puppy, still looking around the place. Sure, I guess you were here a couple months ago, but I've done a couple things with the place since then. Maybe not too noticeable, but changes nonetheless. What you watching? Oh, really? Yeah, I've heard of it. I've been meaning to watch it for a while, but I never got around to it. You know, with all my work and chemistry stuff, eventually I just forgot. Hey, at least now I actually have an excuse to watch it. I feel like if I wanted to watch it with my other friends, I'd have to drag them to the couch. Feels nice to finally have someone who has the same tastes as me. Goodness. I still find it crazy that we have so many things in common. It's been like that pretty much ever since I met you, and somehow you still never fail to surprise me. At this point, I feel like we're almost the same person. <laughs> it's such a breath of fresh air having someone like you. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. I got the coffee right here. Jeez, oh, I can't believe I almost forgot about that. I don't know if you couldn't tell already, but I'm a pretty forgetful person. Oh, but be careful, it's really hot. Burnt my tongue the other day because of one of these things. Oh, certainly not pleasant. Hmm? What's that? Uh, to be honest, I don't know. For some reason I just thought coffee seemed right. <laughs> it's funny. 
I feel like every time we see each other, we always have one. Almost like a tradition at this point. Guess I'm just trying to keep the streak going. I know we already had one a couple hours ago, but it's not that uncommon to have more than one coffee a day, right? I mean, I almost always have a coffee in my hand. It's gotta be one of my favorite drinks. Next to water, of course. It's one of the only things that keeps me going throughout the day. I mean, it's one of the main reasons I started going to the coffee shop at all. Usually, I'll make my own at home, but something about that place just kept me around. What that was, I don't know. Maybe it was because of how close it was to my house, or maybe even just because of the coffee. I'm not sure, but I ended up really liking it. But hey, I'm glad I did. If I didn't, I would have never met you. Maybe if I was lucky, I would have stumbled into you while walking around campus. But I'm happy that I didn't even have to take that chance in the first place. I wouldn't have even known what I was missing out on. Speaking of which, what about you? Why did you start going there? Were you just trying it out or something? What about before we met? How long were you going there before that? Really? That was your first time? Oh, I never knew that. You should have told me. I could have recommended some stuff for you. But nope, you had to go and buy everything off the menu to see for yourself. Not saying that's a bad thing. It was always fun getting to see your reactions to each one. Especially if I knew they were supposed to be really good. Yep, even the bad ones. Well, what made you come back? I mean, that place really isn't all that special. Pretty much blends in with all the other stores and restaurants around here. Come on, there's gotta be some reason. Me? Oh, well, that's nice to hear. I'm glad I could keep you around. I didn't know that. But thank goodness that you did. I would have been very disappointed if you stopped showing up. Although, I always knew you would show up again. Didn't doubt that for a second. Something about you... You just seemed like you were one to keep your promises. Like, I could trust that you'd be back the next day. <laughs> Looks like that holds true. Well, I guess the feeling is mutual. Believe me, I would never, under any circumstances, stand you up. Especially if it involves the cafe. You're always one of my top priorities. Besides, work and school. But even school sometimes has to wait. As you can probably tell by my open books on the counter. Yeah, absolutely. I always feel awful when I can't come and see you. <laughs> How couldn't I? You're just so fun to be around. You always bring a smile to my face when I get to hear your adorable laugh. <laughs> no, it's true. No matter what, you always seem to cheer me up on bad days. Whether it be at the coffee shop or just over the phone. I love spending my time with you. More than you know. At this point, I feel like the only problem is that I don't get to spend enough time with you. You know, we pretty much only get to see each other when we have our daily meetups. But how long is that? 20 minutes? 30 if we're lucky? It's pretty short. And that's not even counting the days where one of us can't make it or if we have to leave early. Case in point, me being gone for the past week. I would love to see outside of that, but with our classes, it's so hard to meet up on campus. Especially when all my friends are dragging me along to do stuff with them. Plus, I work most days, so it's hard to find time when I'm not in class. I almost have no room to breathe anymore. That's why I brought it up earlier. Maybe we could finally start hanging out outside of everything else, you know? Away from everybody, just you and me, hanging around. I could finally say no to my friends for once. <laughs> would sound like a perfect evening to me. I would have invited you over sooner. But like I said, I've been pretty busy. But luckily I had the day off today. As soon as I realized that, I knew I had to tell you. Couldn't just let an opportunity like this slip. Otherwise I would have definitely regretted it. Hey, 
can I uh, tell you something? I know this is literally the first time we've hung out at my house and you just got here not too long ago. But I really think you should come over more often. I don't know, it's just that I need to see you more. Because hanging out with you is just so different from hanging out with my other friends. Don't get me wrong, they're great and all, but I feel like you're the only one who really understands me. Like, I can share everything with you. Maybe it's because we have so much in common, but I think it's more than that. I don't know. It's just, we always hit it off so well. Ever since I met you, I knew there was something about you that I just couldn't seem to get over. I don't know if it was your cute shyness when you first met me, or the fact that you were willing to talk to me in the first place, but all I know is that you've always had a charm to you. It's a charm that I don't think anybody else has, or at least I haven't met them yet. But I don't think I even can. Trying to find someone like you is like trying to recreate the Mona Lisa. It's already too perfect. Don't you see it? I mean, it's so obvious that I can't believe you can't see that in yourself. You know that there's a reason I'm always with you, right? It's not because I think you're so cool or I'm jealous of you or anything. It's way more than that. It's... It's because I... I... Like you. Yes, like that. <laughs> no, this whole time I was just building up the courage to say that I like you as a friend. <laughs> Wait, you really didn't see this coming? And here I thought I made it so obvious. I swear I was dropping some good hints, but maybe that was just me. Never been in a relationship before, so I guess I can see why I may need to work on it. Sorry if this all seems so sudden, but I knew I had to say it. To be honest, I was waiting on you. I thought if you liked me, you'd tell me or at least give me a sign that you were leaning in that direction. I couldn't seem to find one, so I ended up just winging it, as you see. I don't think I really expected it to happen now, but it was bound to happen sooner or later. Come on, please don't look like you're about to have a heart attack. I don't want to have to call an ambulance for you. Look, I know it's pretty normal to be nervous when something crazy like this happens, but you can lighten up just a little bit. There's really no need to be so nervous around me, of all people. You can say whatever, and I'll be okay with it. Of course I'm nervous. I don't know anyone who wouldn't be. But if I'm gonna ask my crush out, I need confidence, you know? I gotta act like I know what I'm doing, even though I'm totally making things up as I go. I bet you can tell. Yeah. So, uh... Shoot, I don't think I even know what to say anymore. No, uh, go ahead. You can say whatever. I'm all ears. Y you what? Wait, you really do? Like, seriously? Oh, that's not what I expected. <laughs> to be honest, I'm actually quite shocked you said yes. I, I always thought I was like, the only one who felt this way. For a second there, I thought I made the biggest mistake of my life telling you that I liked you. Gosh, <laughs> now I look so stupid, don't I? <laughs> All this time, I could have said something, but I was always too scared to do it. I bet without tonight, I would have never done it at all. And let me guess, I bet you've been giving me hints this entire time. I was probably just overthinking things too much to even notice. <laughs> Can't say I'm surprised. You know, that's the one thing I hate about life. Two people can fall in love, but all it takes is them getting too scared to tell each other for that love to go to waste. They miss out on everything, even though the other person felt the same way the entire time. But I'm glad that wasn't us. I don't think I would have been able to get over you, like, at all. You know, 
You've been the first person I've liked in a long time. Ever since my last crush and I, uh, separated. I've never been able to find someone to fill that hole in my life. That was until you came along. Now I feel like I actually have someone who cares about me. And I hope I can make you feel the same way. <laughs> Goodness. You're just so adorable when you blush, you know that? <laughs> you should think about doing it more often. It really suits you. More than you know. So, you are still thinking about watching that movie? You know what? Actually, screw the movie. I have a better idea. How about we go to get some dinner? Any place of your choice. We could call it a date. Yeah, why not? This sounds like it would be a great time. Way better than just watching some movie. So, what do you think? Have any places in mind? No, you get to choose. It's only fair considering the fact that I almost gave you a heart attack earlier. No, I insist! Wherever you want to go. Oh, well, if you're gonna be so stubborn, how about that one pizza place? I know it's not anything fancy, but I think it'd be a great place to start. Perfect! Sounds like a plan then. I can get ready and then we can get going. Don't worry, it shouldn't take too long. I'm just gonna grab something a little warmer. Shouldn't take more than a few minutes. Yes, if you want to, you can time me. <laughs> I'll be sure not to disappoint. Uh, how about the loser pace? Make it a little more interesting. Uh, but who am I kidding? I decided that I'll be willing to pay either way. Guess we'll just have to see. <laughs> Alright, I'll be back in a sec. You just sit tight. <laughs> Don't miss me too much.